Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to make empty state screen in Android using Kotlin. This screen is very important. When there is a no data in your list to view, you are supposed to be show some empty state screen. This design may help your user understand the flow, otherwise user will get confusion. I just showing some demo. Now there is a no data in this list view. It's supposed to be show some empty state screen. The user may understand there is a no data in this page. So you have to show some pictorial representation of some image and title and description about there is a no data in your screen that may easily understand the flow of user instead of showing the empty page to user. To make this, you need to create some UI design like this. I just created the relative layer with image and text view and description about this empty state. Then I have a list of data in recycler view. Below that I just created the simple view stem. Here I just inflating the layout this UI design. View stump is basically help us to inflate the layout from another layout page like this. So I have here a design page. I just inflating this layout in order to use this design in our preview. By default, I said this visibility is gone. Now I just going to be used. If there is a data in our List view means I just checking this count. If this response is null or empty means I just showing this visibility turn on. If there is a no data means I just hide this one. Visibility is gone. So this is a very simple binding dot view state layout which will be this one. This will be hide if there is a no data. If there is a data means this will be visible. So this is all about how to use a uh, view stump in our Android. So the syntax of view stump is very simple. Just inflating the layout resource that will be get identified in your fragment like this. I just using view binding to get this one. So binding dot empty state within the range of scope function. I just making if there is a data means I just showing. If there is a no data means I just hiding this one. I use view extension which is the class here to using the common function to hide and show this visibility feature.